G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from Capsule Computers. Today we'll be talking about Halo Waypoint. Now once you get uh, the preview program you'll be able to see in the spotlight uh, the Halo Waypoint button. Click into it, let it load up. You pretty much got to download it first. I've already downloaded, down, downloaded it and everything. Once it starts up it'll take you to the main menu as you can see right here. Uh, once you do press start it will unlock an avatar which will be like a little prop like a little floating sphere I've already done this so I'm not going to be able to show you that but you'll be able to get that as a reward for starting into Waypoint now, as you can see Waypoint basically has a portal which gives you pretty much news of the day or something new something exciting today's is the NMPD Pelican it shows you screenshots and pictures and artwork for that but to tell you the truth I'm going to take you down on the left hand side you've got destinations and intel uh, career and information further. Uh, I'm going to take you into the Intel section because this one here will pretty much show you and tell you exactly what Waypoint is and what it entitles and what's it all about. Uh, I'm going to show you two movies. One is Welcome to Halo and the second one is Halo Legends on Waypoint. So I'm going to start this one up, Welcome to Halo Waypoint, and I'll get you to have a look at it and let it explain itself. Waypoint is the new home for Halo fans on Xbox Live, with two main areas at launch for this November, Intel and Career. Intel is the central location for all types of Halo content. Videos, articles, fiction, screenshots, tips and tricks, and more. Intel content includes exclusives you won't be able to get anywhere else, like streaming episodes of the upcoming original Halo anime anthology, Halo Legends. Waypoint delivers new content every day. Some of it will come from us, some from other folks in the community you might already know, and some will come from you. But everything relates to the Halo universe and the Halo experience. You'll also find an extensive archive that includes most of the content we'll feature each week. The Waypoint Career is a new system that tracks your progress and recognizes your accomplishment across multiple Halo games. At launch, career tracking includes Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Wars, and all downloadable content for those games. Waypoint Career ties together all of your past Halo achievements and gamer score and converts them into an overall ranking and recognition system composed of two new special designations, Milestones and Awards. Milestones are based on your total Halo gamer score. Anytime you unlock a new achievement in any Halo game or DLC in the console, we'll add that gamer score to your total. Gain enough new gamer score and you'll reach higher career milestones. We're also introducing Waypoint Awards. Awards are granted for earning groups of related Halo achievements. One of the most common award types is the Specialist class. The Vehicle Specialist Award, for example, is granted when you earn a minimum number of vehicle-specific achievements in one or more Halo games. Most awards also have a number of tiers. The higher the tier, the more you show you've mastered that particular skill. Keep an eye on your career. We're just beginning with Waypoint, and there's a lot more to come. Halo 1, 2, and 3 took place over three months, and we had Halo Wars, ODST, and Reach coming up. They had new locations, new characters, new heroes, so we had a lot of Halo going on, and we were trying to think of a fresh, different way to tell a lot of the new stories and also bring the old stories that Halo fans love together in a new format, and such Halo Legends was born. Halo Legends is a collection of anime shorts exploring various different aspects of the Halo universe. Anime actually runs a gamut from the kids, uh, kids animation uh, such as uh, Pokemon and Dragon Ball um, all the way up to a uh, very mature fare uh, such as uh, Kira and the Ghost in the Shell. The medium and the art form itself actually covers a wider range of topics than uh, what we would call animation or cartoon here in the West. So actually it really is a, a appropriate medium to express a very mature story like a Halo. A lot of people ask, well why anime, why not 
a more traditional animation or something live action. We knew we wanted to tell smaller, more discrete stories, little packets of, of drama from the Halo universe. We knew that we wanted to explore multiple art styles. And once you have those two elements competing in your plan, anime is a very, very logical place to go. And I think that one of the other advantages there was that we thought that a Japanese sense of narrative and storytelling could maybe bring a slightly different pacing and a slightly different angle to the Halo universe. And bluntly speaking, a lot of us were anime fans, and so that made it very simple. One of the big things about the Halo uh, franchise that, that sort of differentiates it from other games of, of its ilk is, is really the story and the universe and, and the depth of the storytelling that exists there. And I think that, you know, when you look at the games, they've done a phenomenal job of developing that world. And then beyond that, in the comics and the books, it's, it's sort of been expanded upon and, and there's this amazing lore. And now bringing these masters of anime into the mix and allowing them to sort of have their own unique take on the Halo universe is super exciting. So for those people who are fans of anime, it's going to be just a dream come true. And hopefully it exposes a lot of other people to this art form that maybe they're not familiar with. I think bringing uh, Halo into the anime space is a, is a very interesting idea, a terrific idea. You've got so many styles you can use. You can have these artists uh, work within your universe and you give you a completely different look. They can play in the fields of the universe. I think that's a very mature thing to do and a very interesting thing to do. I can't wait to see some of the stuff in Legends uh, out there and see some of the fan reactions to it. Because really, deep in my core, you know, the anime has influenced so much of my military science fiction writing, which then you know, was, was written down and the animators have looked at it and I can't wait to see the fans' reaction to this stuff because I think it's come full circle, you know, to bite its own tail and it'll be great. Halo Legends is such a cool thing to be working on. First off, you've got Halo, and then you've got the studios in Japan who are the dream team. Putting those together is better than what we could have thought was going to happen. What I really hope, perhaps more than anything else in this entire project, is that people watch these anime episodes and see that at their heart, they're they're anime from those creators and they're not marketing driven things made by us or, or story ideas and concepts forced on these guys' thoughts that they're, they're a real collaboration where the strongest aspect in each episode is what that studio brought to the party and uh, I want anime fans to love this because it's good anime not just because it's Halo and I want those people to enjoy Halo so if I could have any wish it would be that that's fulfilled. At the end of Halo Wars, I started to hear a little bit from Frank about you know, you know, Halo um, moving to the anime realm. And I was tremendously excited to, to hear about that. And then I saw the trailer at Comic Con for the first time. It was the first time I'd seen anything from the anime version of Halo Wars. And I was just blown away. I sat in the audience and I watched the audience cheer and uh, chant and want to see it immediately. It's more Halo stories written by uh, great writers and a lot of art done by amazing artists who are imagining things in the Halo universe that maybe we'd never thought possible before. But now here they are, and we can see them, and we can watch Chief fly through space, and we can watch amazing power armor destroy whole legions of Covenant troops, and we can watch Spartans get eaten by dinosaurs. And all of these things just add to the Halo universe. They make the games better, and the books better, and the comics better, uh, and all of those products, I think, make the anime episodes better. And I'm really happy that Halo Legends was made because I honestly can't get enough of the Halo universe. And the games, while they're great, they're limited in their scope because they're games. And with something like this where you have all of these great anime production companies coming together with their visions of the Halo universe that are also in canon and actually are legitimate stories of the Halo universe, it's really great because you get other interpretations of Halo, but you're also learning a lot more that you never would have learned from necessarily the novels or certainly not from the games. So the more Halo, the merrier to me, and I, I can't wait to see more. Well, there you have it. That's uh, Waypoint. Uh, the information that was shown probably for the welcome to Halo Waypoint is very, very informative. Also showed you the Halo Legends, which will be coming out very soon. That'll be very, very good. And that's basically it. So just um, log yourself in, enjoy yourself, have fun, and play Halo as much as you can. And that's it. Master Rabbit signing out from Capsule Computers. Thank you very much.